What do the greatest actors of our time have in common? They've all attended the Caribou Acting Academy. That's right, the Caribou Acting Academy is now open and ready for business in downtown Salem, South Dakota. At the Caribou Acting Academy, we teach the basics of acting that have made the Caribou Show the most popular thing on late night TV since Kevin Trudeau started selling coral calcium. Learn the business from the masters of comedy. We teach courses in farm humor. And take corn, for example. Corn, oh man, corn's funny. You know, corn sounds like corn, and that's always funny. You just you sit around the table, and you can even say corn, and <laughs> everybody's laughing. Anyway, you go to the farm, you gotta fix something, the tractor breaks down, you grab a drill, and you can't get anything done. You're laughing all the time, you got the drill, and, you know, it's funny. Profanity. Swearing is funny because you really get your point across. And it just makes things funny when you can swear and say the right kind of damn word, and it just cracks people up. So swearing, even though your mom and dad might not like it, swearing is awesome. Now you try it. Fudge. God dang it. Reaction shots. Okay, the first thing you do when you take in the reaction shot is to look as bored as you can before you do it like this. And then go back to looking more Spit takes! You're, you're drinking your water. If somebody says something funny, no, you're out of the way. If somebody says something funny, you go, <laughs> Boy, that was funny. Dancing! Forget everything all those other guys told you. The real key to comedy is dancing, believe it or not. And, you know, you can't just dance around like an idiot. You gotta have a mask like this, so you know where to put your feet because it's got the arrows on it. Of course, you got the crappy blue practice mask, so you're just gonna have to pretend there's arrows on that. And prop comedy. Now I've found over my many years of acting that the most important thing an actor can do is wear food containers on their head. <laughs> if you wear a food container on your head, boy, that's good and that's really something. And and you'll find that out if you don't wear one and then if you do. So I say wear one and look out, funny world. <laughs> Listen to this testimonial from one of our students. I probably would have passed if I'd have showed up more than once a month. Other than that, it's been the best 10 years of my life. Graduates of the Care Wacky Academy have gone on to have successful careers in the following fields. Fast food worker, security guard, janitor, lawnmower, snow removal, TV VCR repair, locksmith, customer service, daycare provider, internet porn, crack whore, and drug dealer. The Caribou Academy of Acting is accredited by the National Association of Colleges and Trade Schools and is eligible to accept financial aid. Housing is available at one of Salem's many fine luxury hotels. The Caribou Academy of Acting is located on Main Street in downtown Salem, South Dakota, next to Kobex Clover Farm. Kobex Clover Farm, feeding McCook County since 1962. And if you call within the next 15 minutes, you will save $5 off your first course. Operators are standing by to take your call and to get you started on the road to stardom or menial labor. The Caribou Academy of Acting, where tomorrow's stars toil today.
boy. These last 10 weeks of Space Academy training sure have worn us out. Yes, it sure Ooh. has, uh, Anthony. It's wonderful that we get a chance to take a break like this. Oh, I know it. I couldn't even feel a nice, silky, white buttock if it was right in front of me. <laughs> you guys, you guys, Greg, Jeff, and Anthony, did you hear? No! Did you hear the main space crew came down with the drip? They can't go into space. The drip? Ooh. That discharge can be deadly. <laughs> that's right, Jeff, but that's not what's important. What's important is now they need a new crew to go out into outer space. You know, Jeff, Anthony, and Murray, that would be a great opportunity for us to use this 10 weeks of training that we've had to get out in space and go where no man has... has... where no man has... has... Has squiggled? <laughs> Yes, squiggled. So let's go and train. All right, let's train. Attention Squiggles! Report to the main spaceship immediately! Hooray! us to go on the space flight because the other guys got sick or something. Oh, that's yeah, right. That's right. That. You know, Greg, I hope we don't run into any space aliens like uh, leopards or monkeys. That's correct, Anthony. I wouldn't want to see any of those, no. Well, Murray or Anthony, why don't you uh, check the defibrillac kebabber back there and uh, get us yeah, ready for takeoff. Why don't we put our helmets on, too? We must be safe when we do this. Oh, oh here we go. I'll protect mine. <laughs> you like the children. That's right. I'll miss the children. Good thing you got a firm white buttock. <laughs> okay, are we ready to blast off, then? Ready to no, blast ready. off, Greg. Where go, Greg? Murray, Anthony, and Jeff, uh, we're ready to blast off, then. Two, three, uh, no, five, what? four, <laughs> three, two, one, let's blast off! <laughs> Can't you stabilize this thing? Oh. Come on, Click! Straighten us out! Okay, I'll get her straightened out here, Murray, Anthony, Jeff. Okay, here we go. Well, that was good, Greg. You got her nice and stable. I feel a lot better, yeah. Why, thank you, Murray, Anthony, and Jeff. I'm glad I'm wearing this diaper. I did my pants. I can smell it, Jeff. <laughs> Boy, it sure is a beautiful space day out here, Jeff and Greg. Yes, it is, uh, Murray. I'm driving along, and we better slow down a little bit here because there is a speed limit, you know. No, no, Greg. I miss the children. I miss, I miss their sickly white skin and their firm white buttocks. Oh, I don't want to think we want to hear about that anymore, Jeff. I'm sick of hearing a buttocks all day. Hey, who wants a space coffee? <laughs> oh, I'd like to have some Anthony. You. Thank you, please. Is that decaf? No. Not decaf at all. <laughs> I can't go. drink because of my helmet. Oh, I got to pour myself some. Oh, this is lovely. Mm. Very tasty. Thank you very much. Ah! Oh, a meteor shower! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, crash! Anthony, oh. you better sit down there. According to my space charts, there's an uncharted planet up ahead. We should crash down there. 
What's so different about that? <laughs> here, here we go. We're going to crash it. Hang on. Hang on. Coffee down now. <laughs> Marie Boner. <laughs> Man, are you guys okay? I'm okay. Jeff, Greg, Anthony, are you all right? Oh. I'm good. Greg. Murray, I'm good, Greg. Anthony, okay, Jeffrey, Jeff. Greg. You okay. Anthony? Yeah. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, Murray, Anthony, and Jeff. I guess we'll just have to wait on this forbidden planet until a rescue party comes along to rescue us. Well, what'll we do till then, Greg, Jeff, and Anthony? Well, I think we've got one thing we can do. What? Let's squiggle! <laughs> from some other planet or something. Really? Well, I'm gonna go tell our exalted leader about it and he can deal with them. <laughs> You got us here now. What are you going to do with us? I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it. Trespassers on our forbidden planet are going to get killed. Mm -hmm. what, do you think, what do you think of that? That stinks. Yeah. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Yeah, I know what we're going to do. What? what? We're going to squiggle. Yeah. 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 Woohoo!
Here I am. What are, what are you doing here? Yeah, aren't you dead? They didn't kill me. I'm tougher than woodpecker lips. And thank God we had that extra spare spaceship laying around. Oh. So I just <laughs> that. That's correct. Hey, it is well, a good thing we had a spare, Anthony. Yep, right. <laughs> Anthony, uh, yep uh, you guys, uh, Anthony, Greg, and Murray. Yes, well, sir. or uh, Anthony, uh, Murray, and... Uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey. <laughs> Why don't we uh, take off then on our spaceship? Yep. Yeah, oh, that's a good idea. Ready to go? Just wait. Go ahead. Turn the combobulator back there. Too bad we didn't have any spare helmets. Yep. Uh, okay, let's go. Let see, maybe I'm ready, we're ready. One. Well, here's one for me. I like my helmet. Hurry up, Greg. Five, four, three, Woo two, Ray! Monkey Leopard. Monkey Leopard Monkey. Oh, he'd be we, famous. He'd be famous. He'd be on a reality show. Yeah, so you need to come with us. Get my own to, series? Come back to our world. Come wow. Back to our world. The Bachelor mm. Monkey. Woo! Yeah. I'll do it. Sit down. Monkey. Come on, get going over here with that dip, damn it. <laughs> Dad, here's your stupid dip. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong kind. I want Jalapeno, ranch. Jalapeno, honey, yeah. that's no good. Go get the other stuff. God. <laughs> okay. What a chip. I should have just stayed on Planet of the Monkey Leopard. <laughs> Hello, I'm Santa Rat, the anchor with whiskers in his mouth. Now, you'd think that would be enough reason for you to watch with me having them whiskers and all, but apparently it isn't. So we here at KRAT News are taking a new approach. For example, our war reporting is like no other network. And this report from our embedded reporter Scott Pearson proves it. That's right, Santa Rat. The fighting here is very intense between the French and the Canadians. In fact, <laughs> it appears a firefight is breaking out. Let's go see what's going on. Gee, many Christmas. So, uh, what, uh, what are you, what are you doing here, Frenchy? We, we want to show everybody that the French are not afraid to fight. Well, uh, uh, if I ask this guy over here, why, why are you fighting Canada? Well, we are not stupid. We want to win too. <laughs> okay. So, uh, why are you guys uh, embroiled in this uh, firefight with the French? I don't know, eh? And what about you, uh, Hoser? Oh, we're drunk! Woo! <laughs> so there you have it, Santa Rat. Reporting from the historic French-Canadian War, I'm Scott Pearson, K-Rat News. Thanks for that great report, Scott. Not only is K-Rat a leader in made-up news, but our weather is pretty made-up, too. Just like on the other stations, but again, we actually admit it. But what sets us apart is that we have an embedded reporter in the field telling us the exclusive made-up weather. <laughs> That's right, Santa Rat. Uh, me, Mr. Helper, is I'm embedded outside where there's weather most of the time. And here I am embedded, and I'm looking around, and it seems pretty nice right now, but boy, you never know when. And, and uh, oh, now there's clouds coming. Oh my gosh! Oh, it looks like, oh yes, it's hailing! And there's big hail. Oh, look at it, it's coming in. It's that the uh, horizontal hail you hear about all the time, and boy, that's good. Look at, look at this baby. Pretty bad. And uh, so that, that, that's, that, that's bad. It's bad out here now. It was good before, but now it's bad. And uh, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say, and uh, send it back to you, Santa Rat. Thank you, Mr. Helper. And that's it. So watch KRAT News, because we make it up and we admit it. And, that's, and I got whiskers, too. Bah. <laughs>